In this video, we're going to use Blank Canvas Journal Temple 8 to create a gratitude journal page. We're going to be using the Read Write Free font and free 98 in 1 sale abstract elements from Creative Fabrica. To get these for free, all you need to do is be a member, and to be a member is also free. I'll give you the link below. Now here are some creative ideas for using a blank canvas journal page, especially since they're commercial free. And yeah, this one is commercial free. You can make a custom daily planner, bullet journal, goal setting page, recipe journals, habit tracker, gratitude journal, which is what we're doing today, and a whole bunch more. Here we are back at our journal. The first thing that I want to do is actually create a title, and that's going to go right up here. I'm going to call that Today's Gratitude. Right click, copy, right click, paste, and I'm going to shrink it up here to fit. Now I want it in the center, so I'm going to make sure that each side of my text box goes to each side of the page. Let's highlight it, and I'm going to change to our font, Read Write. I don't want it bold, it looks kind of weird like that, but I am going to make it larger. That looks good, and I'm going to center it. All right, I think we're started out pretty good. We can move this up a little bit. Totally up to you once again, this is yours. Now let's put in a date. Right click, copy, right click, paste. I just want you to know that I came up with these before the video. It's not part of the template. I want you to think of what you would like for your template. Double click, I'm going to change my font again. And I'm not going to have it bold. I think that I would like the date right here, which is maybe seems strange, but this is mine. You can do whatever you like. What I like is when the words are hanging right here. And to do that, I just have to go to shape format and make the background white. Cool. Today's gratitude. I'm going to right click copy, right click paste, shrink this up. Whoops, shrink this up. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to first change to our font and then shape format, shape fill. I'm also not going to make it bold. You can keep it bold if you like, totally up to you. The other thing, by the way, is you can change the color of the font, whatever you like. The other thing is the shape format. You can actually change the fill of your little words. I'm going to keep it at white. Then we can keep adding small wins, right click, copy, right click, paste. I'm not actually going to create the entire journal page. I think that you kind of get the idea. Small wins, we'll put that here. Once again, I'm going to change the font. Center it. I forgot to say maybe we should center these. Well, that's okay, we just go back. And shape, format, and white. Now you're thinking, wow, okay, this is great. What makes this template so cool? Oh gosh, let me show you. We're gonna go into View, Master Slide. And there's a bunch in here. This is the one we're working on now. Let's put in a background. In the 98 in one hand-drawn free elements, we are gonna go into JPEG. Now it has all of these sales stuff, but it also has backgrounds. Let's use this one. I'm just gonna drag it over and I'm going to make it fit. I'm holding down the shift key. The other thing that you could do is just right click, copy, right click, paste, if you like that size. They don't quite line up, Kind of, there we go, you'll have to do it again. But once again, that's totally up to you. It just so happens with this product, they don't line up perfectly. You have to do a little. I'm 
If I want these to be one piece, I'm now I'm just holding the shift key, right click, cut, right click, paste. And we're going to make it the page size. Now, once again, you haven't seen any magic yet. Right click, send to back, and look at that. That is actually the back of our gratitude journal. We're going to close it. Look at that. I'm going to delete these out so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to look at it as a PowerPoint image so you get a really good idea of what it looks like. Can't quite see the whole thing, but that's okay. I know, it's super crazy. Let's go to View, Master Slide. Now this is the only way you can change the background. You'll notice that when I click in here, it's actually the top. I want the back, so I'm just gonna delete that out. If I want a solid color, I just go into Shapes. I pick the rectangle, all right? and fill to whatever color you like. If you don't see the color, there are more colors you just pick. Standard colors, it's a little easier to pick something, say okay. Shape outline, I always say no outline. Right click, send to back. Okay, so I'm bringing it over. Now I want it centered. The easiest way to do that Let's go to Picture Format, Align, Center, Align, Middle. Ooh, now let's see what that looks like. We're going to close it. All right, I think it's looking pretty awesome. Maybe you want these fonts to be the same color as your background. It's actually sitting right in there. Makes it a little harder to see, but, you know, once again, this is for you. Let me show you how to create a really easy task list. We're gonna go into Insert, Shapes. Right here, it tells me the size, and I want it to be a perfect square. So I'm gonna say 0 0.5. Now you can make them bigger, smaller. I'm making it rather large so everybody can see it. Now I'm gonna go into Shape Outline. I'm gonna keep the same color outline and I'm gonna have my fill as white. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Just put it where you kinda of like it. It doesn't have to line up, by the way. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make it line up. And we're going to put five in here. So I want the top to be here and the bottom to be here. Now, we're going to highlight everything, arrange, Align, I'm going to say align left so they're all, see they're all aligned together on the left. You can do align right, it really doesn't matter. Arrange, align, and now I want to distribute vertically. And there you go. Now if you want to change the size, once again, there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could do a shape format and just change all of them. So it changed all of them, but you probably want them to be closer together. And that's totally cool. We just move everything up. You just want this box and this box to be in the place that you want them to start and end. Then we just go to arrange, align left, arrange, align vertical, and there you go. I know, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna make this a little larger for us. Now what I want to do is I want lines somewhere. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a group because I don't want to mess any of this up. Now I'm going to insert a shape and a line. And I'm just going to go like that. It's okay. It's in the middle. We can fix it. I'm going to change the color of it. Now I'm going to use my down arrow on the computer. And wow, that looks pretty good. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Okay, right click, paste. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing that we had done before. Now I'm gonna shift and click because I don't want the boxes in it. Arrange, 
let's align it right. And I'm going to show you, it really doesn't matter left or right. Now arrange, align, distribute vertically. And look at that. They all are perfect. Maybe me. you want these to be dotted. Maybe you want, you decided, oh my gosh, I want more. So what I would do is I would put these all into a group, right click, copy, right click, paste, and just add whatever else you wanted. And then right click, we're going to, and then let's, oops, we're going to ungroup. And then we have to ungroup. And then we're going to delete whatever we don't want in there anymore. Okay. Let's say you want to move everything. All right. We're going to, first I'm going to ungroup everything. And then I'm going to regroup them all together. There we go. We're going to regroup and group. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So now, since they're in a group, I can actually move them to wherever I want. All right. I'm going to ungroup and ungroup and ungroup. <laughs> okay. This is looking actually really great. I'm not sure if you know, but in the newer PowerPoints, there is, we're gonna to go to insert icons. Let's pick a pencil. Let's see what they have for pencil. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna insert. Now it's gonna just insert crazy. Let me make this bigger. There are tons and tons of icons, by the way. I just picked this one randomly. I can make it. So let's say that I want this to be filled. There you go. You can make it any size you like. You can drag it anywhere you want. And that's pretty neat. Let's change the background again so I can show you. I'm gonna change the background one more time so you can see what you can do. View, master slide, right click. Actually, let's do a new one. We're gonna to go to the next one. And I'm just gonna to go to the free pictures. Let's use this one. It's kind of weird, but. We're gonna go like this, fits a little better. I'm gonna press shift. By the way, if you don't want it at the very top, you can go like this, and I'll show you what that looks like. Right click, we need to send it to the back, really important. Let's see what that looks like. New slide, and here it is. So far we've just talked about the background, but guess what? I'm gonna open our free 98 and one hand-drawn elements and we're gonna to go to PNG set one. Now look at all of these elements that you can actually put into your gratitude journal. I'm gonna move this over. And what's really nice about this is that all of the templates you have, they all have the same color scheme. So there we go. Let's add something else. I'm not very good at this part. I'm really great at making the templates, but I'm not very good at the adding stuff to it. So let's do this. Maybe you want that there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert a blank one and I'm going to right click copy and paste those in. Sometimes you just want a blank background. And let's see some more. This is PNG set one, here's set two. Most it's 50% off stuff, but there's some really cool things in here. I like that hat. Maybe you wanna make a summer one. And to flip it, there's two ways to flip it. You could just go like that, or you can go to rotate and you just decide how you would like to rotate it. And that can go right here. And then you put your title over here. Gosh, just so many ideas. I like watercolor too. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna go view, master slide. 
Now this is the slide we're working on. It always pops up first. And since I have this watercolor, well, let's just put it here. Right click, send it back. Ooh, and let's use this watercolor. Right click. First you want to put it where you want it to go. All right, now we're going to close master slide and look at that. Once again, there's just a plethora of things. And we're doing a gratitude journal. You could do a summer journal. You could do really anything. I'm going to pull this in. Let's say I want this right in here. Anyway, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. This is the Blank Canvas Journal Template 8. What you'll receive, just to remind you, is just this blank template and you add everything and you'll create whatever you want with it. Other thing to remember is that as long as you use images that are commercial free, create any journal, template, diary, whatever, save it and you can actually sell it. That would be pretty cool. If you've created something, I'd sure like to see what you did. Thanks for hanging out with me and look for my other templates. I have a ton of templates. So if you didn't like this one, there might be one you liked.